Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tira back out here on Quadro Colinas. Now, Quadro Colinas is a huge map, and there's so many areas that I've yet to be, but we have out here a pretty nice Iberian Wolf at about 300 yards out. Now, with this angle here, that's gonna be a little bit tricky because he's pretty much laying sideways. But you only live once, so I think we're gonna try it. It felt good, and that was a perfect heart shot at 300 yards out well here he is and it was a perfect double lung heart shot at 304 yards he's gonna score 891 and man i don't think he could have threaded the needle any more perfect than that right there because we centered the heart and we ended up clipping the left and right lung wow that is pretty awesome So here's where we're going to be starting off today at the Lago de los Olivos and we're going to be going basically along the edge of these mountains here, working our way down here and eventually hunting this whole area here. I've never really hunted here before because, well, mostly I hunt this whole area up here on the top. That's a pretty good stag right there. I first thought he was going to be a mythical, but it looks like he's a nice seven. He's in some brush right there, but I think he's going to work his way forward a little bit more. And when he does, we should be able to take... A nice shot. I think that should work right there. He stopped at about 130 yards out. So if we hold for the heart, we should be good. It looked good. Didn't get the heart, but still should have got a double lung. And if not, we can always put a follow up in him, which, well, it doesn't look like we even needed a second shot because the first one was pretty much perfect. We had a double lung stomach at 127 yards out. A decent sized gold. He's actually kind of the smaller one. 818 score but a nice gold you know my map just has way too many female red deer lately and i'm gonna try and take down a couple of these just cuz i should take her down and see if we can't get this one as well she was actually turning but i do believe that should have been vital hit as well and this is the second yeah that's the second one that's the one that was turning we ended up getting a double lung liver stomach and this is the first one. We're a little bit too high of the heart. Still got a single lung and a 93% on the quick kill. You'd think we're probably hunting for red deer, but I'm actually trying to find some mouflon. But we found this herd of red deer out here. There's a decent sized one in the middle right there at about 60 yards out. But I also just saw some mouflon take off to the right side of us here. And I don't exactly want to bust out the 30 odd six and potentially spook a diamond potential mouflon. So we're going to take the bow and see if we can't hit this. Uh, I don't know if we can take that. No. We gotta get a little bit closer. Okay. So we just snuck into about 60, and I think this could work here, as long as I can highlight the right one. Okay, yeah, I can see him. He's the one in the back. We'll zero in for 55. And that looked like it should have been a perfectly double lung hit. So let's watch. He should go down right there. Nice, very nice. Okay, so yeah, there was a couple of really good Mufon. I didn't get a chance to spot the whole herd, but I don't want to potentially spook a diamond Mufon, so that's why we used a bow on this one. But not bad. Looks like we did get a double lung shoulder blade at 61 yards out. Actually, or maybe about two inches too high of the heart. I wasn't really trying to hit the heart, but that's kind of a bonus. Not a bad size one, 771, but he's only a six hard. So we just snuck up to the herd of Mufon, and I think that's the big one I saw right there. He's not as big as I thought, but we snuck up to, well, less than 10 yards away. So I think we're just going to take the bow because we're so close and try and take a shot. Oh, he's going to start walking, huh? But we still dropped him and maybe we can get a double. Yes, we can. I think we might've got liver on that one. Eh, I think we're going to hold off. We're good on that. So here's the second one that was a liver and lung. That's pretty awesome because it was perfectly quartering away and we ended up getting liver and lung at 17 yards out. And this one is the one that should be the big one here. And ooh, barely a gold. Wow, I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Still made a really awesome shot though. Double lung heart shot at 12 yards away. Man, I mean, at least he's a gold, but yeah, just barely. So I just found another herd of Mouflon here and one of them looked like a monster. It looked like it should be 900 plus. Of course it's only a four and I'm pretty sure that's him, right? That's gotta be him. 
Yeah, I think that's him. So he's about 60 out. I think we're gonna try for... <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Now what we did right there was something a little bit more like realistic style hunting where we could have zeroed in for whatever distance he was at, which is like 60, but we're zeroed in for 20 and I used the red dot and I actually held for kind of a little bit above the spine and the red dot's 40. So I figured that should be about 50, 55 out. And apparently it was cause there he is laying right there. But he's going to score 859 and we ended up getting a thoracic vertebrae, liver and shoulder blade. I think we ended up hitting spinal cord a little bit high, but somehow we missed the lung. Still got liver at 55 yards out and got a perfect shot on him. I mean, let's be honest, it wasn't exactly perfect, but 100%. So I haven't really been doing much hunting with the Mosin. Well, yesterday we did some, but today I think we're going to try and take a shot on this road here out here at about 300. Yeah, about like 310. Help for the heart. And I honestly don't know if we hit the heart or if it just dropped, but that was a pretty good shot. But we have another road here right there. I think we got it. The only way, yeah, we got it. The only way I could really tell is the fact that we highlighted it. Otherwise, there's no way I would have even seen it in uh, behind that tree there. And it looks like we have another road deer buck out here at about 150. This one's a little bit smaller, but I think we'll go for him as well. And put him right down as well, nicely. Now, I saw a red deer over here. That's him right there. It looked good, but I think we held it just a little bit too high. So we probably only got a single lung. And now I don't see him anymore. So here's our first one that we got at about 310 yards out. Decent sized row deer. Mm, maybe not. 700 score. We got a right lung at 302. Wow. I guess he wasn't as big as I thought. Still made a really nice shot though at 300 yards. So here's our other row. It looks like we got a double lung liver stomach at 253. Another smaller, but a little bit bigger than the last one, 778 on him. And here's our nice seven very hard, what should have been a gold, but we hit a little bit too low. Actually, no, we were just a little bit too much to the left to hit the heart. Still made a pretty awesome shot at 269 on him. Okay guys, so I just jumped something up that looked like it was a rare piebald red deer. And it, it looks like that's what it is. There she is right there. 40 yards away coming right towards us. Look at that thing. That is just stunning. Wow. I don't believe I've ever seen one of these before. And I think she actually just bedded down right there, but we could probably go for it with the bow. About 40 out. Oh, we smoked her. She started standing up, but she definitely smoked. And she piled up right there. Man, that was sweet. A rare piebald. Why do I keep wanting to call it elk? Um, because I've gotten piebald elk before, but I've never gotten a piebald red deer before. So that's kind of why I keep wanting to call it an elk. But that is that is a pretty cool sight right there. Wow. Yep, piebald. And we double lunged her at 34. I honestly thought we'd only get a single lung because she was starting to stand up when we took the shot. But wow, that was actually a perfect shot. So I don't know if it's because we were holding a little bit higher. You know, I think we might have been compensating for the fact that she was rising up. I don't really remember, but maybe I'll do that in slow motion again so we can see. And she's going to look awesome in our trophy lodge. And you know what's cool about this? I want to get her full body monitor and put her next to our huge diamond red deer stag. We just snuck up on another really nice herd of Mouflon and one of them looked huge. I don't think this is him, but that's definitely a good one. So we're gonna try and get closer and see if we can't find the one that I saw. So we just got a little bit closer now and that's the one that I thought was the big one, but it's definitely not him, but I'm trying to find the big one. That's him right there. Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't go for that one because this 
is definitely the big one. But it looks like the whole herd's gonna move, so I'm hoping they just bed back down on the backside of that bush there, but we'll see what happens here. And that's exactly what just happened. He just bedded right down uh, about 50 yards out, so we're gonna have to try and get up to this bush here and see if we can't get him. Well, we just got to the bush and that's him right there at 23 yards out. I don't really have a shot though, cause he's not at a good angle. There's also another one really close to us that just might spook him. So we gotta be careful here, but that's a mat. Oh, don't do it. Hold on, hold on. He's coming back. He's coming back. We still have good cover, so we could probably just stay crouched, but I always like to go prone if at all possible. But he's holding up right there at about 40 out. We're gonna go for it. <laughs> we smoked him. Perfect shot. We just held for basically in between the uh, 20 and 40 for 30 and let one fly. And that's why I always like to stay zeroed in for 20 with this bow. But yeah, that's him. Look at the mass and the curl on that thing. Wow. And he's going to score 886. And wow, I would have thought he would have been 900 plus. Sometimes it's so confusing. And what did we hit? <laughs> Ended up getting lower neck and shoulder blade at 31 yards out. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but I definitely wasn't holding that far forward. I was holding for uh, the middle of the shoulder blade, but not that high and far forward but i mean i'll still take it 100 percent on him and that's a it's a really solid move flan whenever you see a really nice four easy wild boar you should always take them down because they could definitely respawn as a five medium and this right here is a pretty good one i could see the tusk from a long ways away but i'm trying to get him to turn he doesn't want to listen he just keeps on coming okay we're gonna stand up come on that should work and dropped him. Can we get a double? I don't know. I might have hit the stick there, but you know what? Are those his leg? I guess we did not hit the stick because he piled up as well. Nice. That's a nice double right there. Looks like we hit him right in the shoulder blade and we did double lung shoulder at 71 yards. He's going to score 870. That's a really solid wild boar. That's actually probably like my third biggest wild boar. I don't believe I have any, well, except for my two diamond wild boar that broke 900s. But other than that, I don't think I have any like 900 plus wild boar. And here's the second one. I'm gonna say we probably got spine, but according to where we hit, it looks like we got double lung as well. We did get double lung a little bit high, like I was thinking, but 97 yards out, double lung. Well, we just found a whole entire pack of Iberian wolves right here. We do have a decent six, but nothing really that's spectacular. So we'll just take a couple of shots and see what's going to happen here. Okay, so they're all going to stand right there. And why not take this one down? The wobble is real. Because <laughs> I've been running for a while now, but... That should have been hard. Honestly, it's so hard to tell. There's so many wolves here that I honestly don't know if we're hitting the same one or if the one we're hitting is actually going down or what's going on. But all the shots are looking pretty much money. Okay, so that one actually, yeah, that one was already down. Okay, so there's one left. And I think should be all of them. Well, I think we did all right because I see one, two, three, four, five Iberian wolves piled up here. Double lung liver and a female. And double lung and a female. What are these all gonna be females? And it looks like double lung. This is the six hard that we took. Hit them a little bit high at 140, 788. Not even a gold, but at least it was a male, I guess. And three more piled up here. Another small female double. Actually, that was only a single lung shoulder blade. And another small male, uh, small female. And a small male. So I got those mixed up, but 
a small female and a small male wow that was not a very impressive pack of iberian bulls but we do have a red deer stag right here oh just pulled it was almost money but if we could put a follow-up that should help well in fact it did help because he's piled up right here we actually hit him the second time and that's what brought him down yeah first shot was only a flesh so he would not have gone down we pulled a little bit to the right at 136 but then the backup was just money on the run got intestine stomach liver and right lung at 159 all right guys welcome back to our trophy lodge and take a look what we have right here this is our piebald rare red deer right here this is the female but look where we put her right here right next to our giant diamond stag our 973 giant diamond red deer right here but if you go over here i think it looks perfect because it almost looks like they're looking at each other and i think they both look really good there and i think that's going to be a good way to end this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time